Of all people, Jeannie Buss is the latest one to cause a stir on social media. On Sunday, she decided to tweet a mysterious statement on Twitter, and now fans and critics are depicting their own theories from the cryptic tweet. Spoiler alert, she's missing someone. Another spoiler alert, she even might be dissing someone subtly with the tweet. In today's video, we'll tell you everything about this vague tweet. Let's jump in. First up, why did it cause a stir on social media? Over the weekend, Jeannie Buss came out of nowhere with a tweet that left social media in a frenzy. She usually isn't very active on the platform and avoids posting anything related to her personal life with her followers. Jeannie's last three tweets were related to WOW Women of Wrestling, and she's a co-owner there. Before that, she simply just retweet a tweet praising the trailer for the upcoming Hulu documentary about the history of the Los Angeles Lakers. That was her account's complete activity in the month of June. She barely tweets two to three times a week, so before tweeting this prolonged tweet, she surely knew it was going to get all the tabloids talking, but the Los Angeles Lakers president did it anyway. Next up, what did she tweet, and what does it have to do with Kobe Bryant? The elongated tweet starts with her missing Kobe Bryant, who Jeannie usually tweets about from time to time. She referred to the late Bryant as a legendary player for the Los Angeles Lakers. Kobe Bryant passed away when his chopper crashed in January 2020. I miss KB was how the tweet started, and then she goes on to mention how much Kobe valued the team over himself. So make sure to watch this video till the end, because we're going to share our breakdown of this vague tweet, and we're also going to be revealing all the people this tweet could be toward. She then continued the tweet by telling us that Bryant would help her understand stuff that she couldn't understand herself, and would also explain everything that she's not allowed to explain. In her own words, she said, he would explain everything that I'm not allowed to. What do you interpret from this? Later, towards the end of the tweet, she stresses the importance of teamwork by saying, your rewards would come if you valued team goals over your own, then everything would fall into place. Now this part seems more like a jab at a certain someone, because it's in the past tense, and she specifically tweeted valued instead of values, so she's not giving out guidance to young fans, but is definitely lifting some weight off her heart, and throws massive shade at someone. That's all for the mysterious tweet. Now we're going to tell viewers what she exactly meant. Plus, was she trying to call out someone with her tweet subtly? Up next, what's the meaning behind this tweet? Was it genuinely voicing how much she misses Kobe Bryant, or was it targeted at others? In the beginning, it obviously felt like the tweet was about how much she missed legendary Kobe, but we surely detect some drama here. Starting off, many of you must be wondering what Genie is not allowed to say, and if it has something to do with a certain four-time MVP, who's also an 18-time All-Star. Yes, we're talking about none other than LeBron James, who will be a free agent by the end of the 2022 season, and it appears that LeBron seems to be in no hurry to sign an extension, so it would make sense if part of the tweet is pointed towards him. Next up, Buss says that Bryant understood team over self, but some have taken an issue with Jeannie's belief. Shaquille O'Neal and Bryant famously didn't get a along as teammates, and O'Neal ultimately requested a trade. Shortly afterward, Bryant also pushed for a pullout himself before changing his mind, and at one point, he even went on to consider signing with the Los Angeles Clippers. Jeannie then let the world know towards the end of the tweet that all can reply, but what she must have forgotten was that as long as the comment circle isn't halted by tweet owners, then all can reply, and that's how Twitter has always worked. It's still unclear exactly who she wants a response from. Overall, some say that a part of the cryptic tweet could be a warning for Russell Westbrook, who's the next free agent after LeBron, and also the highest paid player on the team. He's been playing for the NBA for 14 seasons, but still finds it difficult to make jump shots regularly. Some reporters even believe that this tweet is a coded invitation to Kyrie Irving. It seems that only time will tell how many people this cryptic tweet was hinting at. And now, finally, was the tweet well received by NBA fans on Twitter? Jeannie Buss caused a media frenzy with one single tweet. Everyone is talking about it. From news reporters and journalists to analysts and all the NBA fans, they all have their own interpretation of the tweet. And on Twitter, the 160 digits tweet was well received. As of today, the tweet has received some 85,000 plus likes and more than 8,000 replies. The tweet was also retweeted and quoted by thousands. There were also many memes in 
the reply section of the tweet, and her name was also trending on Twitter for two full days after the tweet. This whole fiasco goes on to show that the Lakers are still capable of creating drama like no other team in the league. And now, on to the other news. First off, Adam Silver is in favor of lowering the NBA age limit from 19, calls it the right thing to do. The NBA's existing age limit to join the draft is 19 years old, but it seems that this rule could change in the near future. At the league's Board of Governors meeting in Los Angeles, Silver was speaking to his annual news conference, and there, he said that he was certain that soon, the age limit to enter would be dropped from 19 to 18 in the league's next communal agreement. According to him, changing the age limit back to 18 was the right thing to do. Previously, the limit was switched from 18 years to 19 in 2006, after many players, including superstars like Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, and Kevin Garnett, jumped immediately from high school to the league. The league's commissioner at the time was in favor of raising the age limit to well over 20 years old, but most of the players weren't in favor of it, so ultimately the age of 19 was agreed upon as a middle ground. Via ESPN, Silver said that he thinks there's a chance at changing it. He said that when he balanced all of the many considerations, he believes that it would be the right thing to do, and he's hopeful that there's a chance that they can make it in this next collective bargaining cycle, which will most likely happen in the next few years. Adam also noted that perhaps it's in the league's best interest to begin interacting with the players at a younger age in order to help them evolve, both off and on the court. Given the recent developments in the sports landscape, which includes college players attaining the ability to be compensated for their image, name, and likeness, and more players leaving college to play in the G League or even in the professional overseas games, it makes perfect sense that NBA would look to lessen the limit. Sure, there will still be some players that join the draft before they're properly ready, but that's still the case today. We believe if a player is capable enough to join the league directly from high school, then they should be provided with that opportunity. It worked out pretty well for guys like James and Bryant, and the rest is history. Up next, James Harden is set for a major $22 million pay cut as the superstar makes a major call on the NBA's future. James said that after they lost to the 76ers in the heat of the semifinals of the Eastern Conference, they would be back in Philadelphia next season. It turns out that this will cost him. On Saturday, the 33-year-old former NBA MVP reportedly decided to sign a two-year contract with the 76ers and will be taking a $22 million Australian dollar pay cut for the 2023 season, according to The Athletics. This deal, which includes a player option for the second year, comes after Harden refused to sign his $69 million player option on Thursday, a move that was perceived as a desire by Harden to give Philadelphia additional salary cap space and roster flexibility to improve the pieces around NBA scoring champ Joel Embiid and him. Next up, Alex Rodriguez, the co-owner of Wolf, says NBA has welcomed him. Alex, who's currently part of the Timberwolves' ownership group, has plans in mind for him and his business partner, Mike Lore, to take control of Glenn Taylor and become major owners next year. On Wednesday, he said that he's enjoying his evolution from baseball to basketball and from a normal player to executive, and noted that he's still learning. In an interview with the Associated Press, he said that it's fascinating to take my experience from Major League Baseball to now being here as an owner. And that's a wrap for this video. Who do you think Genie Buss's tweet was aimed at? What is your own interpretation of it? Comment below and let us know. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. See you in the next one.